In this video tutorial, we're going to look at how to divide decimals using base 10 blocks. Here are some tips to get you started. You first must draw your groups. Step two, distribute left to right. Step three, what doesn't fit, you draw on the outside. Step four, regroup the extras. And step five, count what's inside one circle to get your answer. Don't forget also that one of the grids represents a whole, a rod represents a tenth, and a little circle represents the hundredth. Let's go ahead and get started with some examples. Here we have 2 and 4 tenths being divided by 3. The first step is to draw our groups. So here we have uh, the divisor as 3, so we draw 3 groups. 1, 2, and 3. Now I distribute left to right. So I start with the largest place value. In this case, it's uh, the 1's place, and we have 2 1's. I don't have enough 1's to give 1 to each circle, so I draw those on the outside. And remember, the 1's are the grids. I do have enough tenths to give one to each circle, so I go ahead and distribute one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, and now I'm left with just one tenth. That's not enough to give one more to each group, so I draw it on the outside. So I'm done with this and that. Now I have to regroup what's on the outside in order to be able to redistribute it amongst the groups. So I have 20 tenths that I need to draw here. 10 tenths for this whole, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and 10 tenths for that second hole. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I have enough tenths to give one to each circle. So I do this in sets of three. Here's one set of three. 1, 2, 3. Another set of three. 1, 2, 3. One more set. 1, 2, 3. And just keep going until you've used them all up. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. One, two, three, and these last three. One, two, three. Now, the last and final step is to count what's inside one of the circles to get our answer. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tenths inside of one of the circles, and this is how you write eight tenths. Therefore, this is our answer. Let's take a look at another example. Here I have four and twenty-six hundredths divided by three. Again, draw your number of groups. In this case, it's three again. One, two, and three, and distribute left to right the dividend. Okay, so I have four and 26 hundredths. I'm going to start with the largest place value. In this case, it's the four. So I do have enough holes to give one to each circle. So I'm going to distribute that. One hole, two holes, and three holes. Now I'm left with just one hole. That's not enough to give one more to each group. So I draw it on the outside. I don't have enough tenths either. So I draw those on the outside as well. I do have enough hundreds to give one to each circle, so I go ahead and distribute one, two, and three hundreds. I'm left with three hundreds now, and I do have enough again to give one more to each group, so one, two, and three more hundreds. Now I'm done. Last and final thing that we need to do here uh, in order to get all the stuff in the circles is to regroup everything that's on the outside. So turn the whole into ten tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now redistribute, because I do have enough tens to give one more to each circle. So I go ahead and do that in sets of three. Here's three. One, two, three. Here are another three. One, two, three. Here is another set of three. One, two, three. And again, just keep doing this until they're all used up. And there you have it. Now to get our answer, we just count what's inside one of the circles. So I have one hole. And the other stuff is the, in the decimal side. And let's see, we start with a 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4 tens, and 1, 2 hundreds. So that's how you write the answer, 1 and 42 hundreds. Here's my final example. We have 3 and 6 tens divided by 9. So draw our groups. I have 9 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. I notice a problem before I even begin and that is that I'm not going to have enough holes and I'm not going to have enough tens to distribute amongst the groups. Sometimes this happens and we have to do a lot of drawing. It sounds like a lot of work but it really isn't so let's not be lazy and get to it. Here we have three holes. I draw those on the outside. One, two, three because I don't have enough and six tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have to regroup all of these because I don't have enough to give to each of the circles, but if I turn them into tenths, I will. So I have to draw 30 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let me make that one bigger. There we go. Okay, so now I distribute those amongst the groups. I'm going, going to do that in sets of 9. And it's really easy because I know that each one of these sets is 10, so I'm just going to cross off all of them except for the last one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to do the same thing with these two sets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And now I'm going to be very careful here. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 more. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And now I just count what's inside one of the circles to get my answer. And I have one, two, three, four tenths. So this is how you write four tenths. And that is your answer. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching. That was dividing decimals using base 10 blocks. Make sure to visit mr.nestinunions.com for more. Thank you.